Hello, piano teachers. My name is Dorla Aparicio, and I wanted to take a few minutes of your time to talk about musical STEM. I've received a few questions, and so let's just answer those right now. Okay. So would you like your piano students to continue in their summer lessons without you or them having to worry about practice. The musical STEM is probably what you're looking for. Um, this piano curriculum is now on sale at 88 Piano Keys. And I'm just gonna answer a few of the questions that we have received. So first of all, musical STEM is an elementary level piano curriculum for ages seven to 11. It can be completed in a one week, five day camp, or once a week for five weeks. If you get the bonus lessons, then you have enough material for eight weeks or eight lessons. <clears throat> it is easy to implement, very easy to implement. Your science lessons and your piano lessons correlate together. You will want to try the experiments first to make sure you know what needs to happen in each lesson. The piano lessons are quite easy. For beginning students, you'll be introducing them to the piano and playing easy songs. And then intermediate students, they will be learning to play songs by rote. So if you're not familiar with doing that, then you'll have to prepare a little bit more, but all that information is in the lesson. Each lesson is complete with all the activities and everything you need to accomplish. There are always videos to further your learning and even some that you can share with your students. The movement activities are a lot of fun. And game time and the worksheets allow for you to evaluate student comprehension. So here's an overview of each lesson. Lesson one is patterns. Learn about patterns in our environment and play a song with repeated patterns. Lesson two, vibrations. Explore fre frequencies and playing songs by ear. Lesson three, bending. Bend light and bend a melody using the blues scale. Lesson four, inventions. Learn about Bartolomeo Cristofori and play songs on bananas. Lesson five, dissonance. Explore density, consonants, and dissonance in music and science. Then there's the bonus mini lessons. There's three of them that once you purchase the material as a thank you gift, you will receive these three. Oops, sorry there. Lesson six is make slime and learn about theme and variations. Lesson seven, discover pitch and build a rubber band instrument. Lesson eight, what does quicksand have to do with finding the beat in music? So each lesson begins with a um, summary of what your students will learn in each lesson. This is lesson one, patterns. They'll be introduced to the piano. They'll play songs with repeated patterns. They will identify patterns in music and science. They'll create a live water cycle. They will draw patterns and find numerical patterns called sequences in math. There's also a preparation checklist that will remind you of what you need to have ready for this lesson. Here's the format of the lesson. As you can see, there's different headings. And under each heading, it tells you exactly what you need to do. Group time will take about 10 minutes. That's a, a icebreaker type of activity. So your kids can get excited about being together. Then you introduce the science lesson, which will take about 15 minutes. Um, then you can go ahead and do the experiment. Then the piano lesson, and it tells you exactly what you're going to cover. There's videos to watch for you. You can share it if you want to. Some are just for you to get a better explanation of what the lesson is about. And so you get an idea of how it's constructed so that you know exactly what to do. 
the experiments are on a separate page. So you have, once again, the list of supplies for this particular experiment, and then the directions, what to follow step by step. And then at the end, you can even see there, there is a video. Um, so you can get a better idea of what, of what that needs to look like. Then there are questions that I'm sure you still have and others have had. If you have um, an additional question, you can just email me or uh, contact me at the Facebook uh, Piano Camp Curriculum Group. So are there any additional materials to purchase? Well, yes and no. If you want to follow exactly what is in the lesson, yes, there are a few extra things. But there are also um, very easy ways to substitute it with things that you already use in your studio. Um, the only thing that we strongly recommend that you get is the Makey Makey. This kit is phenomenal and you will find yourself probably using it in different ways. And that's about $50. And you can purchase it on Amazon. And there's a link in the lesson where to buy it. Do I have to use the lessons in order? No. No, you don't. Because each lesson is independent of each other. Only the piano lesson and the science lesson correlate with each other within one lesson. Are the science experiments just for fun? Well, I don't think so. Uh, did you ever take a science class where there were no experiments, just formulas and math? Yeah, pretty boring. So of course, the experiments are gonna add an element of fun. However, we really think that the science lesson and the piano lesson correlate nicely for the students to have a better understanding of a musical concept. How long will it take to complete a lesson? Probably about, you could stretch it to two hours, but uh, one to two hours, comfortable. It also depends on the size of your group. Can I group students of different ages together? Definitely. Uh, ages seven through 11 is ideal. I was able to do it with a class of 15, kindergartners. It worked beautifully. And um, my preteens, all age 11, were, were the oldest ones. They loved it also. Where can you purchase it? 88pianokeys.me. Do you have any other questions? Email me or contact me on Facebook. And thank you for being interested in finding out what this is. And those of you that have purchased it, thank you also. I hope this curriculum will get your students excited about piano, especially about coming to piano with, in the summer without having to worry about practicing. Thank you. And I hope to hear from you about how you like musical stems.